sights, sounds, and information just for you from your friends at ASM. I was a kid in 1982, only eight years old. The main restaurant in the neighborhood was owned by an Italian family, and it's still there to this day. Now that's not unusual, but I remember one day in July of that year when the owner's brother stopped in. He was a collector of antiques back then, and now he mainly works with museums. He always liked the rare objects, though, ones that had a real story to them. My family lived two streets over, and my mom sent me to pick up a takeout order for our family's dinner. As I sat at the bar counter and waited for the food, that's when the owner's brother walked in. He wheeled in a grandfather clock. He explained that it was very old, and that it once belonged to a family in England who'd been attacked by a robber not long after they first bought it. The robber slipped and fell and then died when he tried to get away, and since then, the piece has moved around between owners and storage with a story of a curse attached to it. Ah, it was a part of the restaurant. A couple of times over the years, they bring it home for a bit. One year, I think they even kept it at their camp for the summer. Nothing much happened. Well, there was that one time in 93. These two fools tried to hold the place up. After they grabbed the money from the safe upstairs, one of them tripped over a chair leg and fell, and the other, who had the loot, made a run for it. Apparently, he yelled out, Try the soup! and made it to the main floor when he slipped on a puddle of minestrone that his accomplice had caused to fall from the upper level when he himself wiped out. It was hilarious. People talked about that one for years. But aside from that, nothing much happened. Business as usual, and they remain busy to this day. By the late summer of 2020, the place was still going strong. Takeout mostly, due to the pandemic time, but they had adapted over the years and remained a beloved part of the neighborhood. The parents were a bit older and the kids were grown, but they were happy. In fact, their carbonara rated very highly among the internet chefs who routinely scrutinized such attempts at the dish, as well as each other. <laughs> they weren't going anywhere. But with the reopening, I eagerly went there to eat. As I walked in, my eyes were immediately drawn to the clock upstairs, and then a gun that was shoved into my face. It was him, the would-be robber who slipped on the soup all those years ago. Older, but jacked from prison workouts, and even meaner than before. I was pushed to the bar and told to sit. Rumor has it his former accomplice, 
had reformed immediately afterwards and began a deep dive into the world of spirituality, becoming a speaker and author on many subjects that he developed during his time on the ashram. This guy, however, was out for revenge. I sat, terrified along with the family who owned the place and the uncle who gave them the clock all those years ago. The clock struck seven and began to toll. I'm thinking this time I'm going to take the vault, the register, and that old clock. He walked up the stairs and tried to move it. He yelled at one of the kids, the owner's grandson who bust dishes, to come and help him. As the young man fearfully jumped to his feet, the owner yelled at the man to leave the boy out of it and began to walk up the stairs. I've had enough of you, old man, shouted the robber. This is for the time I spent locked up and drew his gun on the owner. He pulled the trigger and then nothing. Looking at the gun, he took a step forward and lost his footing. This mistimed step caused him to stumble down the stairs and fall headfirst over the railing. The police and ambulance arrived and we gave our statements. I looked at the uncle. I told him that I remembered that day when he gave the restaurant the grandfather clock and how the story of the curse had stayed with me all these years. I asked if he thought that it was that very curse that foiled this robber not once but twice. Curse? You believe that story? <laughs> I made that up to wind up the kids. I looked as the ambulance drove off with the robber in the back. The uncle concluded, there's no curse. That guy, he's just a loser. The lights are on as the evening shadows are creeping in. Hopefully, you won't get caught in the turn of night.